doesn't go with my feed doesn't go with my aesthetic maintaining an instagram feed could be quite difficult my favorite apps to edit are of back and forth into creating an Instagram aesthetic and sticking with one Instagram aesthetic. Hi guys, my name is Dodos. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, please do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Um, I really, really, really am happy to have you guys back in my channel. If this is your second or third time and you have not subscribed yet, I'm just side eyeing you because I don't understand why you're here. Not subscribe to my channel. I'm just in denial. You know you love me and I love you too. So please hit the subscribe button. It will mean so much to me. It means so so much to me. So without further ado, like the title of this video suggests, in this video I'll be breaking down my most requested and asked question: How do I edit my Instagram picture? I'll be recording everything that I um, do on my screen just so that you can follow through with me. You can also do the same and so we can edit together. There are just a million and one editing softwares and I just stick to these three because they are my top three editing apps and that is Visco Cam, Lightroom and Facetune. My approach to editing has generally changed over the years. I've come from all white theme to brown to neutral to golden to black and white and now I'm just in a very chill place where I'm not trying to do too much with my editing um, sometimes I do a lot other times I'm just like oh I can't be bothered I'm gonna post this picture I'm gonna post it anyway because using one theme or sticking with an aesthetic could be quite <sighs> frustrating and dreaming trust me there are some times that you just can't take pictures in certain places no matter how pretty it, pretty it is can't wear certain outfits can't take pictures of certain things it's just a whole lot of detail that you have to be ready to pay attention to in teaching you the apps that i use to edit i will start from the easiest app to the most complicated and the easiest app is facetune now there's facetune there's the old facetune and then there's facetune 2. i currently use facetune 2. this is what i do in terms of editing on facetune so i swipe through my pictures i take loads of pictures like i said in burst and I just swipe through to see which pictures I like, I favorite them. So once I favorited the pictures that I want, so I come to face gym and I go to favorites here, yeah, which is basically the album where I have all the pictures that favorited before. Now you must know that it really depends on your aesthetics or what you like. For me, I'll be going through how I get that neutral, chilled, minimal edits on facetune um and now because i'm a beauty influencer there are certain things that were really important to me um when taking pictures and editing pictures i prefer to use facetune and visco cam for very very minimal light edits if i'm trying to do beauty shots like makeup or skincare um, and then when it comes to outdoor pictures or travel pictures that's when i really use um lightroom now I have this picture, what I like to do is zoom into the picture and then the first thing I do is I go to retouch and then I go to smooth. I like to zoom in and just gradually I start to smooth in the areas that has um, a lot of texture. So I never like to smooth in my entire face. I just like to go into the areas that either have so much texture or lines or creasing or even just my hair. So if you want to see before and after, this is before and this is after. This is before and this is after. Um, you can see that it's very light, it's very natural. After that, I go to whiten. And then most times I literally just whiten my teeth because I want it to look pearly white. And I increase that just a little bit. If I'm not taking pictures in an area that is white, sometimes I can whiten the background, but these days I don't really whiten my background anymore. And then I come to details. Here, I zoom in 
and never swipe on detail like that see it looks too much what I like to do is I'll erase that I like to just tap that and I like to do that on my eyebrows on my eyelashes on my lips on the highest point of my highlights my nose and then I I don't take it all the way I just leave it here like something that's before that's after that's before that's after and now one of the things that most I feel like most people don't know that you can actually there's a part of face tune that is called filters so I go to filters and there's intensify but I like to use golden hour because it just has a way of making dark skin girls look more chocolatey so this is one another one another one my favorite is this one golden hour 75 but most times I never take it all the way down here intensity so this is the without the filter and this is it with the filter all the way this is too much so what I like to do is I like to keep it somewhere here like 60 this is before this is after you can see how it enhances my skin color makes me look brown I feel like sometimes when I take pictures in sunlight it kind of makes me look light skin and I know light skin like way this camera is making me look now to understand why I'm looking light skin I'm not brown chocolate you know makes me look like the chocolate girl that I am so this is before and this is after and then that is all I do I basically just save it and that's what I have ready for Instagram now on to visco cam the reason why I like visco cam is like I said visco cam is very easy it's like beginner friendly if you want nice aesthetics nice filters and also for that cohesiveness because one of the things that you can do with visco cam is once you create almost like a preset or an editing system you can save that on visco cam as your preset and you can just paste it on your other pictures they also have a lot of amazing filters that you don't necessarily have to pay for and there are other ones that you have to pay for I subscribed or joined the membership program and the reason why I did that was because I felt like it was a good investment for myself especially because I was like okay I want to grow my personal brand as an influencer this is something that it's worth it you know just to subscribe and make that membership payment if it's, if it's an app that you constantly be using so we'll go on Visco Cam and this is my Visco Cam and then I click favorite and it takes it shows me all the presets that I've saved on Visco Cam that I, if you want that golden um, golden hour look the M5 gives me that this is the J5 the J5 also enhances like that rich melanin look this is the HB2, this is the HB1, this is C5, this is C1. That subtle, like effortless edit, A6 and then A4. Now, if you want that brownish edit that most of you ask me for, I come to Visco and the perfect filter for that is usually, most times I use the J5 for that brownish look. So this is the J5 on this picture. I feel like it's too much, so I would reduce it just a tiny bit. And I come here, I come to exposure. If I want to increase exposure, if I want to darken it a little bit, but because I really want to look very like brown, I'll darken it or I'll reduce the exposure just a little bit. And then I'll come to sharpen, I'll sharpen the image. I'll also go to skin tone and put my skin tone where it is actually fine this is the before this is the after super easy and then I save now once I have that I can come here like I said before click on the picture save it copy edit right and the next picture that looks exactly like that I can just come here and paste edit see I literally just pasted the edit from the first picture onto the second picture and so that helps sort of like it's very e efficient in terms of minimizing the time you spend editing a couple of pictures now we are moving up to the advanced editing editing your pictures using Lightroom on your 
mobile. Lightroom, I personally feel like I really love it for all my travel pictures, lifestyle, and sometimes fashion, but not all the time. So one thing that I would recommend to you guys is actually investing in presets. So I bought a couple of presets. I bought the Pack Arrow preset, a minimal blogger collection. I've also got the Chasing Denny's mobile preset. One thing that everyone should note with presets is that presets are quite tricky. And to be very honest, I'm yet to find a preset that works very well with dark skin. I feel like most of the presets out there are really like white people friendly, not necessarily melanin friendly. Um, so I, I don't like either it makes me too dark or makes me too red. So you have to go in here and start working your way around Lightroom. I go to light, I increase the, you know, I keep the exposure the way it is, I increase the contrast just a tiny bit, highlights, I like to drop my highlights so that you can see the details in my clothes, shadows, I'll bump that up a little bit just so that there's not too much shadows behind me. For white, I'll increase the white, for blacks, I'll increase the blacks as well, yes, I'll increase the blacks. And then I'll come to color. I like to increase my, take my temperature to the warm temperature. And then I come to mix. I go straight to yellow now. If you know me, you know I don't really like to put color on my feet. So this is what I do to take away the color. I click yellow and I reduce that color. Oh, oof, that, makes a, that makes a lot of difference. So I would reduce the saturation or the brightness of the yellow. I'll take that down luminance I'll take that off now what luminance does is that it helps you like reduce the intensity it makes it lighter rather than darker so if I take it down it makes it dark like this if I take it up brightens it just a little bit and then I'll go to orange I would reduce the orange just a little bit like this I go to red I reduce the red just a little bit in this picture and yes voila that is before after what I do is I just copy the preset like this copy settings all and then I go back to the image of my choice in this case it will be this one look at this picture look how basic this picture looks I come here Paste, right? Because remember, with presets, it fluctuates with every picture. So every time you have to kind of work your way to bringing out the picture to look the best. After, before, after. <laughs> A couple of people have told me to sell my presets, but I'm also working on presets that I can potentially um, have you guys. Now that we've edited all these pictures, the next thing I will show you is Unum. Now, Unum is an app that helps you basically like plan your is my Unum to my Instagram. It asks me to import pictures. I'll come here to import. So Unum helps me to see if a picture will look nice. So rather than having that in the middle, I can move this picture here, have that here. I can tap it like this. Swap. I can move this picture here to have, you know, two pictures of inanimate objects, one of me, one picture of an inanimate object, two pictures of me. I like to call these filler pictures. So one filler, two pictures of me, two pictures of me, one filler, like that. And so Unum just helps me to see that my feed is on point at every point in time if you know what i mean um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any questions for me please leave in the comment section down below i hope you enjoyed it um you want me to talk about more like influencer stuff more lifestyle um videos then please let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful please thumbs up and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye